That's Charles Delaray, the garden boss. Take a look at these shrubs for a minute. Hey guys, welcome to Garden Boss TV. We're here at Terry's house and we're going to do a really nice makeover. We're going to put in some beautiful summer annuals, some begonias, pink, red, and white. We're going to add them, put them in in a nice Z pattern or triangular pattern. Uh, first, I'd like to talk about the plants we have. We've got beautiful tea roses here that are just absolutely gorgeous and smelling. We've got blooming, super fragrant tea rose. A nice cream pink with the pink edges on the side. And then here we have an August Beauty Gardenia. And as you notice, this August Beauty Gardenia, it's yellowing. This is a, an example of what's called a chlorosis or a chlorotic state. Generally speaking, this plant is probably getting too much water or there's a problem with the pH of the soil. The word chlorosis comes from the Greek chloros or chloris, which means greenish yellow. So what we can do is, is we can ask the client to not water as much, maybe cut it down to once a week or give it a break for a week or so, let it dry up. Chlorosis is a process where the plant is unable to produce carbohydrates through the process of photosynthesis, allowing the leaves to actually green up. So we're going to give this some nice fertilizer, some good 10-10 fertilizer, give it a nice food right here at springtime, and uh, in about two weeks or so we should notice that all cleared up. Over here we've got another gardenia that's a little bit chlorotic, but we're going to fix that up. This is, this plant right here is called the Single Blooming Knockout Rose. This rose gets anywhere from three to five feet tall, bright hot pink or red colors. This plant blooms from early spring all the way to Christmas in the Virginia Tidewater area. Um, the nice thing about your knockout roses is that you don't really have to spray for bugs or mites or any kind of pests because they've hybridized them so that they're disease resistant, drought tolerant, and they don't even require pruning, which is nice for roses. We've got some azaleas that are just starting to pop out. These azaleas are under stress. You can actually see where we've lost one of these azaleas over here. Something's probably going on with the soil or pH. Uh, we do get a lot of morning sun here, but that's all right. We're going to go ahead and remove these, transplant them to the backyard to a place where they might be a little happier. Give them some nice peat moss and fertilizer and hope they'll do better next spring. Also, so even in the background, we've got another gardenia. And we're going to go ahead and take this one out, pop it out completely by the roots, take good care of the roots, move it over about two and a half feet and transplant it right here where I'm standing. That way it'll get more sun and it'll be visible to the, from the street so that the people can enjoy it. All right, let's go take a look and see what's on the truck. This is a truck with 199,000 miles. It's a Dodge, heavy duty, 1500. Well, we put about 1500 to 4,000 pounds of soil and stone on this thing just about every day. But today, we're full of beautiful flowers. Let's take a look, come on over. got folks some beautiful azaleas if you notice I'm lifting up this nice Japanese cherry tree got the nice white azalea it's gonna bloom in the springtime there's a little later blooming azalea uh, we're already here at April 26 and it's just now starting to really pop down below I've got the bed full of just the gorgeous white pink and red begonias this is the green leaf variety but there's also the bronze leaf variety begonia and the dragon wing. All right, let's take the guys over here and start unloading this stuff, and getting it in the garden. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's get this flowers off the truck. Let's do it. So as the crew gets uh, started, I want to take you over here and show you how you can contact us. Follow me. This is our illustrious and gorgeous garden sign. Did you notice we are Expression Landscapes 737-5683 www.expresscustomlandscapes.com. One thing about landscaping is garden design. And it's always good to start with a good sketch of the August Beauty and then another rose bush here. And today we've got the little, little one little small azalea right there. What I like to do is we have three different types of uh, green leaf begonias, the red, the pink, and the white. And what I'd actually like to do is alternate and offset. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a red, then a white, then a pink, then a red, then a white, then a pink, then a red, then a white and then a pink and then in the middle we're going to go ahead and offset 
so that actually what that's going to happen is the plants you're going to be able to see each plant individually and as the summer goes on and they mature they're going to grow together and you're going to have basically just a nice beautiful hedge of begonias white pink red and we're basically just going to continue that right on down the line put those in the ground we're going to put a little teaspoon of the 1010 fertilizer in each hole and it's going to be gloriously beautiful when it's finished all right let's go take a look at this azalea bed that's how that's done that one came out pretty nicely I like to put in about a couple tablespoons of some nice tin tin fertilizer. Sprinkle salt and pepper the whole just like that. And then take this plant, look for the nice pretty side, set it right in the hole. Make sure it's nice and straight. The pretty side is facing out. Can I get in there for you? And we'll just cover it right on it. Bring that soil all the way around. And that is how you transplant a pre existing adult and mature shrub. Business is booming. Looks like we have another client calling in. Mm -hmm. Hi, how can we help you? <laughs> Once you get a nice bird's eye view of a nice front on shot, you've got a nice half moon of azaleas. They're about two and a half, three feet apart. They're going to grow together nicely, become a beautiful hedge with your dogwood tree as your specimen plant and centerpiece. All right, guys, we're ready to plant. Let's do it. Notice the speed and efficiency which the garden boss applies and installs these plants. There you have it. A little bit more symmetric down. Looking good. Let's move on. Edge worthy gold rust bush. Gets four to five feet tall. Has a nice, large, deep green leaf. And as you notice, it actually has these dried up flower pods here. What those were in January, February, March, especially February, March, beautiful, super fragrant yellow flowers that hang down kind of like bells, bell tower. This folks is actually an Asian pear tree and it has, if you'll notice, this Asian pear tree actually has what's called an espaliered Asian pear tree. They've taken a single trunk and grafted three different types of Asian pears on one tree. But this one, on our bottom trunk branch, we have the Hosui Asian pear, as you can see. One type, one variety, Hosui Asian pear. On our middle branch, we have the 20th century pear, a second type of Asian pear. And on our top tier, we have the Shinseki Pyrus Asian pear. So folks, miracle of science and grafting techniques, which is thousands of years old, as you in Asia and Europe. You take a single trunk and graft several different types of fruit trees on one central vertical stalk. This is one of the finest, most talked about specimen trees in this garden today. Let's take it to the backyard and put it in the ground. Fresh peppermint plant in here. Mm, right out of the garden. Fresh peppermint is good. You can make peppermint tea with it. And of course, mojitos with your nice Cuban rum drinks. Absolutely fantastic.
this particular variety is the weeping Higgin cherry tree. We actually have three trees in one. We have the crown, the main stalk, and the root ball stalk. So this tree is gonna remain for its lifetime only six to eight feet tall. And what's gonna happen is, is this beautiful Japanese weeping cherry tree will simply grow larger in its caliper or diameter. Next spring, beautiful, beautiful, bell-shaped, cup-shaped pink flowers emerging before the leaves lasting about a month, month and a half. It's gonna be great. Absolutely beautiful. Hey folks, and as always, thanks for tuning in to thegardenboss.tv. And again, we wanna remind you that we are a philanthropic and caring, sharing company. We also wanna let you know that we do sponsor and promote the Lexi's Army Foundation supporting children and survivors of leukemia and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We hope that you continue to support your local charities and when you do, remember Lexi's Army. Again, it's Garden Boss TV. Thanks for tuning in. We're making America beautiful and have a blessed day.